Hello friends, how are you? I have missed you all this week and remember um, tomorrow every um, Wednesday, not tomorrow, on Wednesdays we have media at 3 o'clock. You can see it on our page, uh, the media page right now The when you open it and you can see the link of Zoom. So I hope to see all of you, okay? Well, today we're going to do uh, some research and the research is going to be about an animal and have you ever heard about platypus? Have you ever heard it? Well, today we're going to learn how does it look? Well, here we have it and I'm here at Epic and there is a lot of books about Platypus. See all these books here. So if you want to, if you want to learn more about them, you can go to Epic. But the one I'm going to be reading to you today is this one over here. This book. This is a very good good book. A very good resource. Platypus by Jessica Rudolph. Let's see. What's this weird but cute mammal? So it's a mammal. You know what mammals are? Yes, mammals have fur and the babies drinks the mother's milk. It has furry body. Oh, look, a long bill. Look at that. That seems more like what ducks have, that's right? Look, big feet, and they're wet feet. And look at the tail, it looks like a beaver tail, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, it's a platypus. Let's learn about them. Okay, a platypus is a very strange looking. The spider is very strange looking. It has a tail, as we can see here, like a beaver tail. It has a wide, flat tail, like a beaver. A platypus can grow up to 20 inches long. That's about as big as a cat. So they're, really, they're not that um, big, that's right. Maybe like this here. I don't know, my, my cat is long and big well okay so let's keep on reading it also has a bill like a duck yet the bill is soft and leathery so it's soft and leathery bill you see the, over here it's letting us know that this is the bill like a diagram that's right and it has very small what eyes I went there. Platypuses live only in Australia. And Australia is a country and it's a big country. And it's also a continent. They spend lots of time in lakes and rivers. So they spend a lot of time in lakes and rivers. Now let's read the caption here. I like this caption. The platypus digs burrows near the water. A platypus coming out of a burrow. And a burrow is like a hole in the ground. So they live near water. That's their habitat. So um, you can see the bill here. And it's coming directly to the water. Lakes and rivers. Splash! The little mammals are great swimmers. They have webbed feet to paddle through the water. They can steer with their tail. So with their, with their tail, they steer. So if they're going to go to the right, they steer to the right, or to the left, they steer to the left. And here it says web feet. Look at those web feet. It also has like very sharp claws, doesn't it? 
Okay, let's read the caption. The platypus comes to the surface every few minutes to take a breath of water. So remember, it is a um, mammal, so it, it doesn't live in the water. It just li it goes down to the water, and it fishes for its for its food. So let it, let's keep on reading. Let's see what comes next. Oh, look at that. Platypuses hunt for food in the water. They search for tapitals, crayfish, and worms. And here we see tapitol. And the tapitol is a baby frog. A crayfish is over here. And that's like, it looks like a shrimp. And worms. There's a worm over here. Let's see what this caption says. The platypus closes its eyes in the muddy water. It uses its sense of touch to hunt. So in the water, they close their eyes and they use their sense, they use all their senses to hunt. Oh, must be the sense of smell, the sense of touch, of hearing. Let's see what else. The platypus moves its bill from side to side as it hunts. So it's moving his bill. All animals give off weak electrical signals. The platypus's bill is very sensitive, so it can feel things. It can pick up electrical signals. And here we see the caption here. When platypuses touches an animal or senses that it's near, it attacks. So it feels it. Maybe maybe when it's swimming and or maybe it passes by, it, so it attacks it and eats it. And here we see that um, crayfish. Look out! Animals such as lizards, foxes, and pythons hunt platypuses. This is, okay, so they hunt. So they are the predators. That's right. They're predators, and the platypus is the yes, the prey. Hiding under water or in burrows helps the little creatures stay safe. Oh, look at that! That's a spur. You see? I wonder why it uses a spur for. The male. So that's the boy. The male. Platypuses has um, venomous spurs on its back legs. It can use the spurs to fight off enemies. Oh, venomous means it's poison. The female lays one of one to three eggs in the burrow. So it lays one to three eggs. Now we know that mammals don't lay eggs, but um, platypuses do lay eggs, but they're still mammals. Remember, they have fur and they give milk to their babies too. About 12 days later, the babies hatch. Look how cute. They drink their mother's milk. The babies stay with their mother for about four months. Then they leave to get to live on their own. They're sort of flat too, that's right. Strange looking mammal, but I love it. So cute. Okay, so we're done reading this book. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna put up oh, what do what's the animal? Platypus. Let's eat. That's right. And I'm gonna take this out and this out because we don't need this. Okay. Pla Oops. Uh, T-Y, 
P-U-S. What are different habitats of the platypus? Okay, so do you remember what the platypus eats? Well, you know, I think I saw crayfish, and I can't remember the other one. But whenever we can't um, remember, you know what? We go back to the book. It's always okay to go back to the book. I always do that, and everybody should do that, because that way you don't leave anything out. Okay, so we're going to go back. Okay, so it says here that they hunt for food in the water. And this is what they eat. Tadpoles, crayfish, and worm. So we're going to write that down over here. Platypus eat crayfish, crayfish. What was the other ones? Uh, tadpoles. And do you remember the last one? Oh, I don't. So let me look back. Always better to be um, double check than be sorry that we forgot something. Okay, I keep on going to that one. It's the next the next book I'm going to read to you. And worm. Okay. Okay, so there we have our complete sentence. It's always good to reread it to see if we spelled everything right. Platypus eats crayfish, tadpole, and worm. Um, what are the different habitats of platypus? So it's said that it lived in the country of Australia, but let's go back to see. I uh, keep on going is this one here. Let's go back. So here it says they spend a lot of time in lakes and rivers. And this is like a river. That's right. And they dig burrows near the water. A platypus coming out of a burrow. Okay. So, let's write that down. You remember? Platypus lived in Australia. They they lived near what was it? Lakes and remember the rivers? And I'm gonna double check that I wrote that right because I don't want to get it wrong. Oh, here I go to the same one. Uh, yes. And one more thing. They dig burrows near the water. Now, what we really were looking for was what are the characteristics? Are the characteristics of a platypus. And characteristic is how they look. Okay, so do you remember? Okay. They have, oh, I got it. They have fur. Oh, right, two R's. Okay, they have fur. Um, what else? A flat tail. Do you remember what else? A bill. 
and oh I remember web feet I think that's it let me let me go and double check yeah web feet to I think that was that was see it it that's right big feet okay and big web feet okay so now we have the characteristics how they look so this is what you're gonna um, do you're gonna draw a platypus and you're gonna do a diagram and you're gonna you're gonna tell me uh, where for example you're gonna draw the bill and you're gonna uh, point it out where it is and the flat tail the fur and all that so if you don't know how to draw a platypus so here I have learned to draw a platypus and it begins here number one the shape here then number two you put the bill then number three you add the tail the flat tail then you add the feet then you add the wet feet and the small eyes and you're done and they're brown that's right okay so if you if you really if you really can't draw it just go ahead and write it down but if you if you want to give it a try go ahead and um, just post it you're gonna have to upload it to the suggestion board okay and next I'm gonna read you a fiction book about a story about a platypus uh, this was a informational book a nonfiction book so I hope you enjoy it and see you next time bye friends